Hello, my name is Sako. I work at a company called Gladly in DevOps slash security. That's where I do stuff. Goop is a community where on the side I'm running where I share stuff. And Hacker Dojo is the place where I meet you and do both. Thank you. Uh, I have like 20 slides, it's really packed. Again, I will try my best to fit in five minutes, but this is from last lightning talk and hope today we can take another one. Uh, one of the problems we realized, that's a nice place and great people we are meeting, but we have less social media presence. And that's why I kind of ask you to meet the people, take a selfie, use Hacker Dojo hashtag and share in the socials because Hacker Dojo needs to scale its members to stay, uh, to keep lights on. Uh, that being said, thank you so much. And this is my seventh week and since Lightning Talks started and it's coming along, it's gonna be open source and all of them I'm tracking the, my, my Substack blog. So feel free to check out uh, the previous talks. Uh, that being said, uh, let's talk with some fun facts. So amount of AI UC trained data models as roughly doubling every 3.5 months since 2012, which is came out of OpenAI research team. And more fun fact is why we are talking today about Ray is the infrastructure behind uh, your daily lovely ChatGPT is Ray platform, which we will try to touch the surface. I am also in the beginning of that journey. So I am not an expert, but I will try whatever I learned in past couple hours with you. So we, the company behind uh, Ray is right now called Anyscale. If you know one of the founders, Ion, who was also a co-founder of Databricks and plus he is a professor at uh, this lab, which is famous place for the uh, AI ML uh, research team. And uh, Robert Philip, they were intern in the Ber UC Berkeley where they realized there wasn't really any uh, good tooling around to, for their research. So that's how the project was born. Uh, that's good for that. And what's Ray? It's open source framework. Uh, it's very basically to parallelize and uh, scale your AI ML workload. So it's pretty much taking care of the DevOps piece where you can focus on building your AI models. And it pretty much supports all different uh, other frameworks and libraries. And why they? It's using together with Kubernetes, if you haven't heard, to orchestrate scheduling, doing some scaling on underlying infrastructure that you can focus on your uh, model, not deal with infrastructure piece. Uh, Ray Air, they call Ray Air. If you can see the components wise, they separated data set training, tuning, scoring, serving, and reinforcement learning. And just for the sake of time, I will just touch. So I just installed in locally so you can play in your uh, laptop and using kind, bring the Kubernetes cluster and install. That's uh, from my workload uh, installed. And there is a project called Kubre uh, operator, which it will help you. Uh, to play in your local. So Ray data set, it's pretty much uh, cleaning and uh, extracting data and playing with the data, training data, data train, how to, as you can see, scale your model training for popular frameworks and Ray tuning, how to, uh, it will help you to do tuning uh, of your model at scale. And Ray serving, it's pretty much if you need serving through the API, that's where you can use Ray serve library. It will make it simple. And reinforcement learning for if you need something for production, great, highly distributed error workload, you can use that one. And Shopify is using it. So it's another use case example. They have a nice vlog. So I found it interesting, decided to share with you guys. They have a, uh, uh, their ML architecture called Merlin. So they use Ray on top of that, they have other pieces. Uh, so again, every company is doing differently, but underlying infrastructure, they are using Ray. So you can definitely feel more confident about the project. That being said, well, why Merlin? They wanted something scalable, first iteration and flexibility. And what's coming? Why I'm talking about this? So next weekend, 11th and 12th, there is two day workshop. The Camille was here actually couple days back, we went through and more events 
gonna come, but this is in collaboration with ACM Hacker Dojo. Today full workshop, uh, I'm gonna soon, uh, and again, this $15 member off, it's just to cover basic costs for the food and stuff, it's $75, it's really definitely for the price. And here's some perks, uh, you will have today full access to an scale cluster, some swag, some you may get to raise summit, which is really great uh, summit. I saw the speakers are solid. Again, I am not taking anything out of it. It's just I feel like uh, I will be there and I would like if you find it interesting to be there. That being said, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Anybody have any questions for Sako? If, if not, I'm going to ask a question. Um, how, yeah, how did you first hear about Ray and what got you interested in it? Actually, fun fact, it was here. Uh, uh, ACM was having the password manager. They were having the meetup here where I just swiped in randomly, even it wasn't in our meetup page. And I found it really interesting. And then I was talking to Yash from the ACM. He was, for past 15 years, he was working Intel, so he needed some help for the organizing event. And more I dig into project, I said, oh my God, that's, I, I, I wish I could play earlier. This is really great open source project. That's a place where I met and uh, I, my, I'm willing to invest more on this project uh, because it has a DevOps security and all these different components. So that's, yeah, go ahead. Masha has a The question was, do you use any database with it? Right. Can you? So it's mostly, if you think about it, more compute infrastructure, not the data store. But you can put the data, the result to any database. So it's scaling the mostly the scheduler piece, orchestration, taking care of using Kubernetes autoscaler. Once you have that training and all these things, so it doesn't have any database component. At least that's what I understood. All right. Um, any other questions? Does Ray use any form of serverless computing under the hood? S serverless. Serverless. Or what's the substrate under pinning Ray? Think about it. It's sitting as a in the Kubernetes infrastructure, and it's pretty much as a pod. It's spinning up and scaling that one uh, as a container. Cool. All right. Let's give it up for Sako. Thank you.